Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. I'd like to share with you today how the selection process works for who I interview every week. Well, it's interesting because it depends and it varies. I, of course, I began this adventure with a list of interesting afterlife people that I would have loved to have chatted with. And so I've um, spoken with most of them. But what I've noticed that has happened is during the actual conversation, the channel with one person, during that time, something else, kind of someone else's energy just randomly pops in, makes like a cameo. So for example, if you've watched the interview with the afterlife, Um, conversation with Buddy Holly. During that uh, conversation, oh, I'm trying to think of who he brought forward. Oh, no, it was the opposite. Forgive me. It was during the Jean Harlow, the actress Jean Harlow, doing her afterlife conversation. Randomly, all of a sudden, there was like this cameo of Richie Valens. And like he showed up, like I could see him with his guitar and good looking guy. And I'm like, well, how does this, I don't even think that they even were the same timeline. Ah, it was kind of a weird random thing. And so right away when I was done with that conversation, right away it was obvious, okay, now I need to channel not just Richie Valens, but it was actually Buddy Holly who, if you're familiar with the story, which I also channeled Buddy Holly, you can watch that video, you can watch the Gene Harlow video too, that's available, um, that they, they died together in a plane crash. So it was Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper also. Um, and so uh, then I cha- channeled Buddy Holly next. So that's kind of what happened. So it was really interesting. Also, um, the very first channel I did after the Michael Jackson one, the Michael Jackson one was the first one, Um, that I shared on this channel. And the one right after that was Natalie Wood, who I know nothing about, like knew nothing about. I knew there was some kind of weird stuff around her death, but that's pretty much it. I know she's a famous actress and that's it. And during my interview with her, at the very end, there was this, all of a sudden there was like a snapshot insert of Elizabeth Taylor. And I'm like, and I could see her perfectly like as Cleopatra, Liz Taylor. I was like, all right, so that's the next one. So I interviewed Elizabeth Taylor right after that. So I shouldn't say interviewed, I should say conversation. It's not really an interview, but it's more like a conversation. So so that's how it, it happens. And some spirits too were connected in the human life and in the afterlife, they come in together. And so, for example, I when I was talking to Dr. Wayne Dyer um, in an afterlife conversation, then and naturally, Louise Hay was another na- uh, afterlife conversation. And then, I, so I did a video with just her, I did a video with just him, and then I did a video with both of them, and I talked about a topic with them. So it's interesting how it kind of has unfolded. And in the morning then, basically, I have been trying to do like three of these a week so I can get ahead of the, the game and uh, make sure that I can schedule these out and have them fit in um, to the summer. For example, right now it's summertime, so I got to make sure I schedule it enough with all the kids home and stuff um, to be able to have time to do it. And so I, I do a couple of weeks so that I have them available to release then in the coming weeks. And I've been releasing about two a week. I said one is my goal, but I'm doing like two a week. And so how that works then is I think, who would I like to, who would I like to talk to today? What feels good? what comes through and feels good. And sometimes it's interesting or intrigue, somebody that has some kind of interesting scenario or situation around them. And other times it's just somebody fun, you know, somebody that I just like, hey, I really like to chat with this person, it feels good. So what happens is I kind of, I invite them, or I open my energy and I feel for who is near, who is closest. And then I invite them in for a conversation. And we sit at my kitchen table, which is where we're at now. We sit in the kitchen and we talk and that's what happens. So it's not like I want to be really clear. It's not like they choose me. They do not choose me. Um, Spirits don't wander around and go, oh, hey, let's have, oh, I want this psychic to talk to me. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't really like the way her hair looks. So I want this psychic to look at me or to to see me or to talk to me, to communicate. Mm -mm. That's not how it works, you guys. And... It's not how it works. 
In some way, the psychic, the intuitive, the medium has to be open in order to be able to receive access to that channel, that flow of information. You have to be open to that, otherwise it won't happen. If you're not open to a particular celebrity or person in the afterlife, you will not be able to channel them. And they don't just come and randomly pick people. At least that's my experience. Now, someone had asked me or made the comment that, wow, it's so great that Prince chose you, or I can see why he chose you, which is a wonderful compliment. That's really sweet. I wish I could accept that, but that's not true. After Prince passed away, it was like everybody was open because he was like spraying his energy everywhere. Like, hey, like, like fireworks going off, like shh, shh, shh. And whoever was available to receive the information and the messages from Prince in the afterlife received it. That's why a whole bunch of people all of a sudden shook and woke up and started recognizing, wait a minute, who is this Prince guy? started finding his music and started really feeling his loss, the loss of him, and all of a sudden woke up after the death of Prince and started their spiritual journey and their interest in intuition and spirituality and all that because they were open already. And when he when he went into the afterlife, it was like skyrockets and beautiful fireworks and all that. And who doesn't love that? Who doesn't love good fireworks show? And so... It's not like he came and knocked on my door and chose me. I must have been open. My heart was open. My mind was open. And intuitively, I could feel this collective grief, this collective sorrow. And I felt like, oh, I should channel some healing energy to his fans because it's so sad for his fans. And then that's when he came in. So that's how that's how it worked. So I want to be clear on that. It's not like I don't think... Spirits just go, oh, I think I want this person. They have really good credentials. I don't think that's what happens. But I don't know for sure because I'm not dead. And so because of that, I really can't be certain how that works. But at some point, I'll know. And maybe I'll channel it to another psychic or medium when I find out. Well, I don't want to find out soon. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm goofy. All right. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell, so it shows up for you on your YouTube feed, so you can see. You never miss a video every week. Remember, at Above Life Channel, the purpose is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. It's your life, so live it. Thanks for being here.